Hey baby, let me talk to you for a second. I just want you to know that. Uh... You guys, this is Tomei from A Day in the Life with Tomei, and I want to thank you so much for the support so far. One of my videos that got the most views was my makeup haul. I filmed it on a whim. It was like an ultimate haul. It was like my longest video on my channel, but it has the most views, over 300 views. But my second thought is, what can I do? I had more views than I do subscribers. So if you stop by my channel just go ahead and subscribe and take a look I do different things on my channel I do makeup I do beauty I do inter gonna do gossip and I'm gonna do tech tips so if it's something that you are interested in just you know tell somebody about it if you're not interested and have them come and take a look and subscribe so with that being said I'm coming back to you with another haul so this is like a mixture of clothes beauty and makeup so let's go ahead and just get into it the first thing I got, I, I shopped at Ulta, I shopped at MAC, I shopped at Sephora, and then I shopped for clothes at Misguided, Ulta, no, I don't get clothes from Ulta, Misguided, Forever 21, and Fashion Nova. And I'm not really happy with Fashion Nova today because I ordered some stuff for the Beyonce concert on Tuesday, two day shipping, here it is Saturday, and the stuff is not here. And I have a problem with Ulta because I always tell y'all, go to Ulta, go, go to Sephora and get your samples. I went to Sephora last week and I asked for, I mean not Sephora, I went into Ulta last week and asked for a sample and she was like, oh, we don't have no containers to put uh, samples in. So I wasn't supposed to bring my own or steal it. I, I you know, make, make your option. She had like she was busy and I didn't like that. So just keep going to Sephora until I say go back to Ulta to get your samples because Ulta wasn't about that sample life. But with that being said, I still gained in my coins, not once, not twice, but three times throughout the course of, you know, stacking things up for the haul. So the first thing I got was, I know, I'm gonna keep reaching, whatever. Um, these pads, I know in my other videos, I was so excited that, you know, for the size of the pad, from the Walgreens ones, but remember I mentioned that that was too much. Like, I can't, I'm not gonna spend $5 on some kind of pads. And I think these was like $3 for um, the same size. They just don't have the the exfoliating, the bubbles on it, but I never use that side anyway. So it's a win-win for me. This is the Ulta 50 Premium Over Cotton Pads. And um, I'll be sure to link everything below if you're interested in getting anything. And make sure if you're shopping online, use eBay, you guys. I just got a check for $30. But they stop, They still do the checks, however, comma, they will let you do a gift card of your choice and they'll up the amount. So you get like 15% more if you do a gift card to one of their stores. So I got a $30 um, Sephora E gift certificate when my cash back was like twenty seven, my check was like twenty seven dollars or something like that. It was up of something, but I know when I cashed out, it was more. So anyway, we're still on, you know, body and stuff. So I got the original uh, Shea Body Butter by Tree Hut. And every time I buy a body scrub, I always like to buy like the set. So if they have like a lotion or a spray, I'll go ahead and buy the same thing. I guess you get spoiled from Bath and Body Works. And this smells so good. It smells like straight, you know, shea. So this is what it looks like. It's in a nice container. Hey, Close it tight. And this is what it looks like. And going into this, this is the the scrub that goes along with the lotion. So. Here's both of them. Girl. I just want to let you know, girl. Now, I have a video that is probably be bu up before this one. And this is the Petty Scrub Foot Buffer. Y'all know that I have an issue. Well, y'all already know. But we're going to see if this works in between pedicures. Because I don't go that often. Now, I was a subscriber before I became a YouTuber myself. And I still follow my favorite YouTube people. And Makeup Shayla talked about this lotion right here. This right here. You put it on. And it got like little glistening specks. It like do something to you right here. And then if you mix it with this, it's supposed to just change your life. So we're going to see. Because I just tried it on my sister-in-law. So, you know, it made her skin glistening. But we're going to see how it look on the pictures and all that. Like Makeup Shayla see what's going on with that there. But 
I got this from Amazon and they really like did something. I don't know, I gotta pay more attention to the ounces when I'm buying something. But it looked like this size on the picture, but when I bought it and opened up the box today, it was like this here. And this was $14, so no wonder the big one was $39, but she ain't got time for $39, so we didn't do that one. And this is the Gleam by Melanie Mills Body Radiance. And it came in like rose gold, deep gold, and like a silver. And I just so happened to get the deep gold. But it looks rose gold to me. No, it looks bronzy. I'm like, it don't look rose gold when I looked at my hand. So, keeping up with things that I got from Ulta. I probably shouldn't talk while I'm doing it because I won't be able to edit that part out. So, going in, I got the Ulta Baked Bronzer in Radiance. I just, I could not pass this up. This is what it looks like. Let me take it out. Okay, I'm struggling. I like my nails. Nail paws, nail feet. Getting to these nails though. Nails by wardrobe. Oh, it's not even open. I swatched the one in the store, but we're gonna move on. Oh, what else I got from Ulta? Uh, from Ulta, I got this NYX. Hydra Touch Primer Base. I'm all about having hydrated skin and luminous skin going into the hotter um, seasons because the last thing you want is to look, you want to look luminous and things like that, but you don't want to be dry. So I thought that trying this primer would be good for the hot weather. Then also from Ulta, I got this Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. I see a lot of I think I see Jackie Anya mention this, but most of the time, I don't see women of color use this product, so I wanted to go ahead and try it out, and I did take it out the packaging in the store because Physician Formula is like a drugstore, so usually with drugstore, you can't, you can't um, try the things out. You know, you just kind of got to take your chances with it. But I opened it, and I swatched it on my hand, and it was really pretty. So I can't wait to use that. Then another thing I was eyeing was the original thing I went in the Ulta for was this Stay Don't Stray makeup eyeshadow primer, but you can also like use it underneath your eyes to help with creasing. So I thought that was a really, really good thing um, to do. And I got it in the color medium deep because I wanted something closer to my skin tone. It also comes in a lighter one for the um, for people with lighter skin tones. And then the other thing that I wound up buying was the Better Than False Lashes Extreme. Because I really like my Too Faced Better Than Six mascara. So I want to give this to the world when I'm struggling and I give up on putting on lashes. Because today I have on lashes, but that's because I'm going to go see Beyonce. Like, and I had time. But other than that, mm -hmm. not on my everyday. She don't wear lashes every day. We can put this one in place. We're okay with them. We're not happy with it. Mostly in place. So I got um, inspired. Um, someone taught me you don't really use a lot of colors. Use more color. So I went to ColourPop because A, they're $6 for that product and it's really, really good. And I got a couple of eyeliners. Um, what I call them cream gel liners um, from their line and I just really love their stuff because it comes with like a, a handwritten note and Wendy Williams is all about handwritten notes it does add a lot of character so this is in the color fast lane and I'm gonna oh it's so creamy and that's what it looks like the fast lane you see that you see? Oh, yes we're here for the fast lane and then the next color I got was Zulu. Or I got, I purchased. This color has been floating around, this Zulu color. I don't know if it's all, everybody used the Zulu, but it's definitely that mint green that's going around that you're seeing everybody use um, on YouTube. I have seen like two YouTubers so far, no three YouTubers so far um, use it. 
And this is in the color Crybaby. I don't know what I was thinking when I purchased this purple, but we're gonna make it work. I actually have a lipstick that I never wear from MAC in this color. And it's broken. The tip is broken. Y'all can't see that, but. So that's Crybaby, Zulu, and Fast Lane from left to right. But I, I, I got challenged to use more colors, so hey, I said I'm, I'm gonna get that bright ass purple. I don't know what I'm doing with it. Then I've been seeing a lot of people have like a different color wing too. Like where they do that at though? I'm not good at um, wing, so I ain't zoom in too good on my wing today. And this is in the color Get Paid. It's like a gel, cream gel liner. I don't really know how to swatch that, so we're gonna keep it moving. Run out of time, battery about to die. Should've let it charge while I was playing. So I got some one-off products. One-off products. Um, who this came from? Oh, Luxie. Um, I wanted this brush because it was pink. And I thought I didn't have no brushes like this, but I, I lied to myself when I purchased this. But it's so cute. And you can just use it in the hollows of your cheeks to contour. I can use it for the apples of your cheeks when you put it on your blush when you're smiling. Yeah, hook on that fake smile. And I am obsessed. I put on all my eyeshadows with the same type of brush. And this is the Ofra Cosmetics. I think it's a 21 brush, but it's like a blending brush. I thought it, I thought it was nice. I'm mixing up my trash with my, with my product. I really appreciate you. I know I don't want to show it, but I just want to let you know, girl. Next, I got some things from Morphe. They came out with their long concealer um, line. And people rave about their concealers, but I have so many. I don't really need another one in my collection. Um, but it, it was a, a price that I couldn't pass up, so I got it. And I'm swatching it now. Very, very lightweight, yet creamy really like it so yeah I guess you can say this is a haul and a first impressions but I would have to wear it to really tell y'all if it creased or not and then I got the ding 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 Morphe 35O in shimmer y'all I can't wait till it all mad come back in stock because I will be getting that too all these colors swatch so pretty and if you want to get into doing others makeup and you have a you want to minimize stuff. You don't want to carry a bunch of items with you when you're doing other people's makeup. You want to be really compact. So I'm um, thinking about dabbling into doing others makeup, although I'm very, very nervous about that. And even though they're a family member, you know, they call and they ask me, could I do their makeup for their basketball uh, banquet or something like that? So I said yes. So I got to think about products when I'm thinking about a kit and traveling somewhere to do others makeup so let's move on to Sephora y'all know I live for that two-day shipping I live for delivery and I live for checkout so when I went into Ulta to get that stuff I ran across this and I swatched it on and I asked for a sample she told me they don't do samples they had a container, I told you that in the beginning of the video. So, okay. Went on Sephora.com and went on ahead and bought it because I liked it. it. It instantly did what it says it was gonna do. I love a product that says what it's gonna do. No more pores, Dr. Brent. It did what it said, self-explanatory. It really did get rid of all my pores that I had. And as I get older, the wider my pores get, it's just, it's not hot, so I'm starting to be more conscious about that. The next thing I got, which was sold out in the actual store, I had to get it online, was the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. And this was only like $25, and I really, really like um, Tarte's products, so, and a lot of people rave about this here, so I just want to give it a whirl and come back and tell y'all if I really like it or not. Pretty packaging, right? I mean, it's pretty, but I'm not really a purple girl. But we're not gonna hate on why they did that. A 
another reason why I like shopping at Sephora is online is because they give really good samples and really good point parts. But anywho, I talked about this on my Snapchat. This Hello Flawless XO by Benefit. I used it today. This is in a color Numbag. And it really, I was looking like a little bright after I got through dusting away all that setting powder. And this did a really good job of bringing my color back. Uh, let's see if it's going to last through the night because I'll tell you when Beyonce sings some songs and I'll get to acting a fool and get to sweating, we're going to see how good this product is. But it really did give me a flawless filter look, so I really liked it. And I talked my bestie in to get it too, so she went ahead and bought her one too. I actually bought that in the store. And then I saw um, Sandra Deluxe talk about the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. And I was just talking to my sister line about this because what she said, what Sandra Deluxe said, is she uses this only for her contour. But from the side, you can't see it, but from straight on, it's like, hey there, because I'm just like not used to that nose contour that, you know, that deep. But when you turn to the side, it really is like holographic. I think that's the word that she used. I don't know. I've been struggling trying to figure out what word that was. But it feels like a cream. I did put it on on top of my foundation and I kind of just like blended it out as much as I could. But I don't have a bridge on my nose that's defined. So that's the reason why I like to contour my nose is for that bridge. Not necessarily to make it narrow, but definitely to give me a, a bridge. And this did a good job of, of doing that. And this is in the color, I think 30M. And it's a bronzer. So it's really, really nice. I really, I really enjoy it. I actually used it today. I can't see how people be waiting to do their haul because I be using my stuff. And then I come back and be like, oh, hey y'all. I didn't really use it. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. The Clinique Pep Star. Because I'm getting a little bit older. And I need to be getting concerned about my under eye and whatnot. So... I really love Clinique products that take the day off is amazing. Their skincare line is amazing. I use it all the time. So I figured if they good with that and they not missing the mark with that, why not try that Pep Start? And of course Sephora put it on that Snapchat weeks ago and was like, this is something you need to use to not have tired eyes. And then they went on to give other um, recommendations on using the product. However, comma, I don't know how to open it, so we're going to move on. <coughs> I don't know if y'all here for it or not, but I like, I know I had mentioned I like shopping on Sephora.com. It's because they point perks and they samples are really good, legit samples. Like, no shade at Ulta, but ain't nobody checking for them samples that y'all is giving folk, okay? At least not me. So, I got the Tom Ford Black Orchid. Is it Orchid or Orchid? Orchid? Oh, okay. Orchid. And y'all know how I feel about that. Check out another video. I'm telling you, that make you still somebody man. I'm telling you that Tom Ford is worth every penny. He know what he be doing. And then I got the YSL Black Opium in a small little throwing your purse. Even though most of mine are from Scentbird. And I can throw them in my purse anyway. Ain't nothing like having another one for, you know, 100 points. And then they put this in there. Y'all not really here for the samples, but these are some good samples. You got like Josie, Ma mm, Josie Maron. I really love her lotions with the argan oil. But look at that. Like you can really get a sense of what somebody's skin tone is. And then I got like Too Faced, Estee Lauder, another YSL. Like, I'm here for all these samples. Like, I have a whole sample drawer. Just like, you want something out like this sample drawer? Like, this, this is the best sample drawer in the world. Let me talk to you. And that's why. Okay. You still got a bag? I just want you to know that. Uh, See? Just, I'm the gift that keep on giving. I'm just trying to crack jokes. I hope they get my jokes. People who know me get my jokes. Right? Of course. And the last makeup place I stopped at was Mac, of course. And right now they are having, oops, they are having spin 40. Spend 50, get $10 off. And they have like free two-day shipping. And y'all all know I'm all about adding things to my 
cart, getting it shipped, and living for delivery. So they have some really good samples too. This cleans off oil. Everybody's into oils right now, and you know, and another um, prep and prime skin base. Skin base. I used it today um, on my face because Mac never lets me down when I'm having long nights and sweating nights. I don't know how many times I can stress that, but if I know I'm gonna be sweating, I always go with the Mac foundation. And then I got this blush. It's a sheer tone blush. And it's in the color Pinch Me. And y'all know I'm not really a blush girl, but I like to go for blushes that don't really look like, you know, like you just, I just don't get it. I know people just wear those blushes that's just too much for their face. I don't, we can see your blush. Like how you that supposed to see your contour lines so all supposed to look natural? Well, bitch, you're not blushing, okay? We know that's blush. Ain't nobody that tickled your fancy and made you look Beans after the bean? No, you tone your blush down. And stop bringing y'all blush all the way over here. I, I see y'all. I've seen a couple y'all in the gallery with y'all blush looking like a mess. And I got this Sun Power Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm trying to figure out why I bought this. Why about this though? Cause, okay. Oh, I know why I bought this. It's supposed to illuminize your skin. I guess kinda like those ambient powders, but this is max on version cause I just washed it into my skin and it kinda just kinda glow. So yeah, that's why I bought this. Cause I saw somebody on YouTube, you know, I, I like to discover new things and then see if they really work. You know, that's just my thing, but. Sun Power, we might have to switch that for some, because Sun Power really didn't do anything. And then the, or I'll just give it a better shot with different things. The last thing I got is Yash, Y-A-S-H, is it Yash or Yash lipstick? And I have it on my lips today. I'm gonna give y'all a zoom in on my makeup look today. And I love this color. Like, whoever I stole this idea from, like kudos to you, because I forgot who you were, because I steal from everybody. So, I didn't, I didn't pair it with a lip liner my best friend wanted me to wear it with, what color is this? Strip down, but I didn't. Probably would look good. So that's all for like beauty and skincare and makeup and like little one-off situations. So now we're gonna move into my next favorite thing and that is accessories. So I went into outdoor accessories, a couple of, um, last weekend when I was looking for something for the wear to the Beyonce console, which was a fail, and then my stuff didn't get shipped, then I had a hole in my shirt, then something happened to my neck, and I was like, you know what, the devil is trying to like bring me down today, and I'm not gonna let him do that, okay? So, I am really am stupid by myself. Huh? <laughs> a swoon to the camera. <laughs> So I got this cute little thing and I had it on my Snapchat and it is some little ears and I just might feel a little extra and wear it, okay? And then I also got this choker here. So I might as well go ahead and put that on and finish accessorizing for the concert because it's 614 and it starts at 730 but I am waiting on my best friend to get here and I want to be able to get through this video. So the next thing I got was this necklace here. Beautiful piece. It was only $12. I don't know if I'll be able to find this stuff um, and link it below, because I don't really know the names of it. And I also got um, the choker in silver, and it was $12 as well. <clears throat> so I went to Banana Republic. And they were having an awesome sale too. And I got this cute little green little tank top here. And uh, I had to make sure I was still filming. Girl, I'm feeling so mad if I stopped, if my camera head cut off. Um, and I think this will look so cute with some dark denim jeans, similar to what I have on now, and some leopard print heels. Like, very minimal. And you can go from day night. So, I don't know. I just feel like it'll be really cute. 
and very simple though. Very, very simple. Oh, and another thing was that shirt was like $20, but that sale made it like $10, you know. And I also got some shoes I have been looking for a really long time. Like from, I looked up, I wasn't gonna spend as much as a, um, as a $80 for SD man, but I think I wound up spending $80 for these from Banana Republic. I tried to spend cheaper. I tried to find them on um, Shoe Dazzle and Just Fab. I couldn't find them because these are similar to the new shoes that I got that I only had spent like ten dollars for, and I wasn't trying to like get my life by buying a black, you know, pump like this. And I need actually needed a size nine in that shoe. Do I have my receipt? To tell you how much it was originally. So the shoes were originally 118 and they took 40% off. So I wound up getting the shoes for $70, which was good because they were still cheaper than the Steve Madden shoes that I have like this, but they're patent leather. But I wasn't trying to I wasn't trying to do it because I knew I could find the shoe for a cheaper price. So yes, I am frugal even though I like to shop. I want to make sure I'm getting the best deal. We're gonna put that back on. Oh, another thing I forgot was Bath and Body Works. They had to sell them all their candles. And I can't believe that they had a sale. So the candle was originally $22.50, but I got the candle for $12.50. And I like for everything that I sit in to smell good. So I also got a bunch of car air fresheners in the scent. I don't know the scent. I just know it smells like Amber Cumbie and Fitch. Uh, I think it's called Mahogany Teakwood. It's the cup. And then the candle that I got was <laughs> Watermelon Lemonade. <laughs> and it smells exactly like that. And I usually don't like artificial watermelon, but this one smells really, really good. I can't wait to burn that one. And the next thing that I purchased, what well, actually came in the mail, and I just threw it in this bag. Let me be quiet. Was a Dosa Colors um, brush. And I heard this is a setting powder brush, but look at the way it looks. I don't know if it's because it was in the packaging, but it looks flat. So I think you can really get in there. And I'm, I was looking for a new setting powder, setting powder brush. My Real Technique was does the job just fine, but it is a little small. So I find myself having to work a little bit harder to dust all that powder away. And y'all know I be having to dust it, dust it, dust it away. Not least, let's move on to clothes. I'm, really into filming now and making sure that I look good while filming. Whether if it's makeup, whether if I'm just sitting down to talk to you, I want to make sure I have on something different. I don't really know how I feel about showing you because then that means you already seen it on, but who cares? That's what washing machine is for. So the first place I went to was Misguided and this is a shirt that said Mondays. <laughs> Monday is a basic <laughs> So that's really funny and then the side is kind of like open like that and um, let's see it's a UK 14 and it's a US 10 so that's that and then the next thing I got was this cute little see-through top I'm all about that it's similar to this one that I got from Fashion Nova it's like see-through and then this other top I got, like, it looks so cute online, like, oh my god, it was just great. Um, so yeah. Then I got this top here. I don't know who I thought I was when I ordered this top, but look at this. It's a crop top A and B on this side. Like, girl, you must gonna wear it with a high-waisted skirt or something, and my battery is flashing at me. It does not last long. I need to give me a backup battery. ASAP. Then I got this top here. 
it's a spaghetti strap top and it's off the shoulders off the shoulder is like coming back and so are chokers then from fashion Nova, even though they got my coin i got this cute little top here i thought it was cute i don't remember adding this to my car however it showed up in my car so we're just gonna roll with it and it's like a little see-through i think i have a thing for see-through then i have some tights here and they slid across the knee they're black Just plain and then I got this shirt here and it says Monday I can't Tuesday I can't even Wednesday oh my god Thursday serious Friday literally can't Saturday love Sunday over it and that's really my mood next shirt I got from fashion over is I like you more than coffee And this is a cute little cotton shirt. Too busy. Self explanatory. What you doing? Too busy. And then I believe I got this from Fashion Nova too. It's called This Is My Gym Shirt. I've been trying to get my life and go to the gym, but. Love story. And I love this shirt here from Forever 21. It says inspire. And that's what I hope to do with my channel is inspire others the way that I was inspired. Yes. I really do mean that. And then I got this shirt here. I don't know why it's clenching up the way it is. And it says allergic to morning. I used to be a morning person. I don't really have attitude in the morning. I just have a hard time getting up. And this is like heavy, like good quality. Um, and it says righteousness. For those days where you're feeling cocky, you know? And you just want to tell bitches like, I'm righteous, like move on, move around. And another one is 89. And I don't want to give away my age, but you know, hit, hit. And that is two from Forever 21. And then this here is Gorgeous 10. Uh huh. And just another shirt to look cute in while you're filming. You know, you don't want to be completely dressed up, but you know. And last but not least, I got this little sweatshirt here that I'll probably wear with those pants with the cut knee. And it says Selfie, because it's kind of long. Selfie New York. How cute is that? And let me just do one sweep. I almost forgot something. This is um, edge control that I was sent from an Instagram sweetie named I am blessed hands on Instagram. She was so kind enough to send me this, and I'm always looking for something that will um, lay my edges down. And right now, like my edges are not really out, but let's let's do a dim. It's nice and thick, y'all. Let's do a little mini dimbo. Ooh, I'm impressed. I am impressed. I just did a mini dimbo with you guys with this stuff. Really, really nice. You know, I like when edge control, when you put it on, it feel tight. Like it's, like, like, I like when it does that. So, and this, this did it. And this is called Imperial Edges. For natural and relaxed tear and promotes hair growth and brilliant shine. Mm, I like it. It really did make my hair feel tight. My edges feel tight. And that's, that's important. I really am, really am um, hey, impressed by this I Am Blessed Hand. So you can probably go to her Instagram page and figure out um, how much it costs and shipping like that. But she was really kind enough to send me that. And I really do appreciate it because I am natural. Oh, another thing I got from Forever 21 um, is some accessories. And it is a choker, just a plain black choker 
I mean, if I could find my picture from the fifth grade with me with that choker on, the one that looked like a tattoo, y'all would bust out laughing. Like, I always, I always uh, had on, <clears throat> I always, like, had on a choker, and I had rings on every finger. I was really into it. And chokers are in right now. So the next thing I got was, like, this piece of fabric from Sorella's Boutique to, like, put on a t-shirt and then put on one of these, you know, or a choker and you just instantly like dressed it up. So that's the really good thing about a choker is like, it can kind of like wake up the outfit a bit, if you will. And I'm just doing one last sweep. Oh, I have one more thing. I don't know where this came from. UB Moisturizing Skin Cream. I'm scared that's gonna break me out and I don't even got sensitive skin. Corology. Like, I had went on and got a free trial of their stuff, but I never used it, so I went ahead and canceled it before they started charging me. And then I just, I just got this in the mail, and it says, we just turned to, and thanks to all to you. And it's like, if you don't know about Corology, it's like you go online, and you put in your skin information, and you upload pictures, and a dermatologist will write you a, a prescription based on, you know, what, how your skin looks and what kind of problems you have with your skin. So they sent me, and it has like formulated for my name on there, and then it has like the doctor's name and stuff like that, and like the percentage of what it says apply a small uh, uh, apply a small amount to affected area each evening. So I guess there's some kind of acne treatment, which would be good when I'm going through that little monthly situation when my skin breaks out. And this is a skin relief moisture repair cream, and y'all know how I feel about creams. And it's for the body. So I'm just doing one. So let's sleep, sweep, and that's everything. So, you know, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you, thank you so, so much. Thank you for coming back, and thank you for tuning in um, to my channel. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.